What you doing now, Dave? Getting ready to change your oil and zippy. <gasps> okay. Zippy gets an oil change today. In the rear end, because that's where the motor is. dirt in here. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Oh, I see some. Look at all the dust on top of that motor. Oh my gosh. Are you going to try to get rid of some of that? Yeah, you have to wash it off. Or is that one of those things that if you want wipe the dirt off that it won't run properly <laughs> it might you never know so where does where's the oil going at oil goes in right there oh okay and this is your dipstick right here uh huh was there anything tricky in getting this open no okay no you unlike just, the battery you just unscrew this little thing and the lid pops up oh okay i know in the with the battery it was a pain in the butt oh yeah yeah, take the car half apart. You're using Mobile One Extended Performance 5W30. Yep. Advanced full synthetic. And why that? Because that's what it calls for, full synthetic oil. Look. Mobile One. Huh. Well, there you go. Yep. So. No question that needed. So, first thing, I'm going to crawl underneath here. Take the oil filter off, and if you want me to, this is the oil filter wrench. It's snappy. It has expandable jaws, so it fits all sorts of them. Okay. What I'll do here first, I get my oil wrench on this thing, and wait a minute, twist right off. Loosened it up. I like to take the oil filter off first because it makes a big mess. And that way I'm not dealing with a bucket of oil underneath here. When the oil filter comes flying down and splashes into the oil. Is there a way to pull drain the oil before you remove the filter? Oh yeah. Oh. But not out of the filter. The filter always has oil in it because it's hanging upside down. So I'll wipe that off a little bit. Take a look at the rim of it. Get a feel. And I got a little dirt build up on it. But I think it'll be alright. And then I can go with the new oil filter. See, that's the kind of oil filter I got. And where'd you get that? K&N. Believe it or not, Walmart. Oh. K&N OSO1008. Where did you get the oil from? Walmart. Oh. What's it, what did it cost you? The oil filter was like nine bucks, and the oil was, what was it, 38. Whoa, really? That's it's not bad. Well, no, when we we take this in to get it done, it was eighty dollars. Yep, eighty bucks to have them change the oil. That's why you're doing it. <laughs> That's right. So first things first. What I want to do is get a finger full of oil, fresh oil, and then I want to just smear the oil. Around that rubber gasket, and then oh, you I, have a separate like plug. Yeah, there's a separate drain plug for that. Oh. Is that how all cars are? Yep. I just want to hand tighten this thing. That should be good, right there, and then way back there. We'll move this oil pan underneath there. And I need a 24 millimeter socket. And right, right there, if you can see it, uh -huh. is the oil drain plug. 
And you get your pan underneath there? Yep. How much does the pan hold? Holds about seven quarts. <clears throat> there we go. Boiled nut is loose. Drain plug. Getting this off. Have you done this before? Not on the smart. Put on all sorts of other vehicles. And there she blows. How's it look? Black. How often do you have to change oil? They say, one, they say once every 9,000 miles. Really? Yeah, supposedly because it has the synthetic oil and all that, but... I like to go a little sooner than that. About every five to six. And there's our oil plug. Oh, that's weird looking. It's got a screen on it. Oh. That picks up any sort of dirt and debris. I'm not pouring out as fast as I thought it would be. No? No. I'm looking at the Smart Maintenance Booklet, page 9, oil service plus at 10,000 miles or one year, then every 20,000 miles or two years. you got to be kidding me. Okay, how much oil? I don't know. It doesn't tell you. Let me check online. How much oil does the Smart Car hold? According to AMSOIL, engine oil. 4.5 quarts. After refill, check oil level. Here. How much oil does a 2013 Smart Car Passion for two hold? According to AMSOIL, engine oil. 3.5 quarts. After refill, check oil level. Now it's 3.5. Wow. How are you going to know how much to put in? There's a little window on the side of the thing. Oh, for each quart? Yeah. Okay, so just pour some and keep checking. Yep. Putting the plug back in? Trying. Now you're going to tighten up the filter? Oh, no, you're, already tightening did. The, oh, you're tightening the plug. So the filter you just do by hand. Right. Okay. There we go. We're snug. Okay. Yeah, that looks like three and a half quarts. So, my beautiful assistant will help hold that. We're about two quarts. It could be three and a half. You think? Could be. You got any oil fill up horror stories? I mean, where somebody did something wrong? Oh, I've seen a guy, my brother. What'd your brother do? He changed his oil. We had a, a house that we were on a gravel road and it had ditches on each side of the road. And when we'd change our oil, we'd drive the car over the ditch when we were kids. And you put a, that way you can crawl underneath it. Put a pan underneath there and catch your oil. Well, my brother, he drove his car over the ditch, drained his oil out and all that. And then filled his uh, car back up with oil and started to drive away. The thing is, he forgot to put the drain plug back in. So all that oil just went right through the engine <laughs> into the ditch. Off he went. But he realized it fairly soon. Uh-oh. I remember going to one of those Jiffy Lube kind of places, or 10-minute oil change. Yeah. And uh, got home and the oil cap was on the engine. Oh, yeah. But not screwed on. Oh, we had we had, we had one, Eileen and I, on her car, that we went to one of those places and they did the same damn thing. But we drove off, oil was splashing out everywhere and it got on the manifold and it lit on fire. Oh, geez. Yeah. Burned up all sorts of wiring and stuff before I could get it put out. Mm -hmm. So Jiffy Lube had to had to have the car brought back into the dealer and all new wiring harnesses and everything put in it, new hood liner, repaint the hood mm -hmm. and everything. Oh, they paid dearly. I remember one place I went to, they had me start the motor without the oil in it. Oh, nice. 
That's something you don't want. But it was kind of one of those. Okay, start your motor, shut it off, yeah. and I mean, within two seconds, it's yeah. like, oh man, what the hell am I doing? Yeah. Really hear those lifters back until the oil gets to them. Right there. Perfect. Right on me. Thank you. Thank you for what? <laughs> oh, you're calling me. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> all that space back there. You could put a Great Dane in there. You could. In fact, I've seen one before. What you got? This is my oil change bucket for the boat. Seeing how you can't get under the engines in the boat, you have to pump it out. How oh, you hook it up to your battery, to the Suburban, yeah, huh? Yeah, that's an electric pump. And then what? Put the pump in reverse. Let it go. Oh, let's put it in an empty bottle, and then you can take it to. Um, I'll take it to this oil change joint. How many beers is this? Six. Six? It's a sunny day. No. Four and a half for each quart. What do you do with a half a beer? All right, we'll round it down to four. You have I think we'll bring it up quarts. to five. No, you put four quarts in there. You get four beers. That, how about labor? It's all included. No. We're going to have to revisit your contract. <laughs> yeah, we are. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.